Hello YouTube, this is Care Bear and I am checking in. Uh, today is um, August 4th, 2014 and um, just wanted to give you guys an update on how life has been since birth of our third bebe and um, I just wanted to uh, check in. I don't know why I have to explain why I'm here. You guys know why I'm here every time. Um, anyway, I have a list of things that I wanted to discuss. Hopefully that will help kind of make it go a little bit faster. Um, I just wanted to uh, let you know that the um, testing that I had done when I was pregnant, um, excuse me, in order to check to see if the baby was going to be too big to deliver in the birth center, um, they had a bunch of uh, sonograms and stuff that they did. And they concluded that um, our son was too big. They were estimating that he was going to be too big in order to deliver at the birth center, which was really frustrating for me um, because I felt like the things that they were basing it on wasn't fair. They were saying um, that they were expecting that he would probably, they were worried about the risk of what's called shoulder dystocia, which is um, when they are not able to, they're able to deliver the head of the baby, but then not the shoulders. And then it becomes an emergency situation where they have to break the collarbone of the baby in order to get him out. So um, obviously that was not something that we, you know, wanted to risk. Um, even though I had uh, delivered, you know, an eight and a half pound, eight and a half pound baby before already um, naturally and with no, no issues. Anyway, um, I ended up gaining about 33 pounds total, so I was 193 when um, when our son was born. Um, the labor and delivery went really well. I was actually on um, monitoring twice a week for my, uh, I think I mentioned this before, but for my um, advanced maternal age. And so I would go in and they would put, hook me up for an hour and um, monitor uh, the baby's heart rate and any contractions and that kind of stuff. Well, one day his heart dropped a little bit during, for a short period of time and they weren't sure whether or not he was just pushing on his umbilical cord or not. So they just sent me to the hospital for a further evaluation. So I was there for a couple of hours while they continued to monitor me. Um, and then they said they would probably induce me, which was like the last thing I wanted to hear because I had been induced with Elora with Pitocin and it was uh, extremely painful and it was like the worst um, possible, uh, you know, natural delivery with no pain medication or anything. And I really, really did not want to do that again. And so I was really clear with them that I did not want to have any intervention and that I did not want to be on Pitocin. And I was so disappointed, I was so frustrated because it was the midwives that I was working with and they were the ones telling me that they were probably going to induce me. And so it became really um, kind of frustrating that this is why I chose the birth center experience. This is why I chose midwives was because I knew that they were going to um, argue for me to have the most natural birth possible. So it was frustrating that they then were the ones who were saying that they were going to um, have me induced. And I kept, you know, my mom kept reminding me, you just have to think that this is for the baby's health and safety and well-being. And if the midwives are suggesting it, then it really should be something that you have to be okay with. Um, they swept my membranes and that brought on more labor. I'd been kind of having just mild contractions for a couple of weeks and stuff. Um, but that was that brought on labor that day. So I was pretty sure as soon as she did that, I was pretty sure that I was going to be delivering that night or that day or whatever. So, um, we did, we ended up going later to the hospital. We got there around nine o'clock, I think. And, um, I was at, uh, six centimeters at five in the afternoon. It was at noon when they, um, swept my membranes. And so, um, I should have written it down or brought my notes. I can't believe I can't remember everything. Um, they broke my water at, um, I think they broke my water at like, um, 11 o'clock. Le uh, it was 11.40, I think, when they broke my water. 11.45, I think, when they broke my water. And then, um, our son was born at 12:35, so it was very fast once it broke my water 
and the um, I got to use a birthing stool. It was it was a great experience. It was very very cool. So um, I am now under my um, weight prior to uh, him being born. Um, so I was 193 when he was born. I was 160 at my first doctor's appointment, and um, today I am 155.1. So I'm down underneath. Um, my pre-pregnancy weight, which is great. And I lost, I got down to my pre-pregnancy weight in about two months. Um, Mace was um, eight pounds and 15 ounces. So he was one ounce away from nine pounds and he was two weeks early. So he was a big boy. Um, but I wanna have him here with me. So I want you guys to see him. Hi, this is Mace Noam. And his name means gift of God, friend of the rock. Can you say hi? Can you smile? Can you smile? He's our blue eyed baby. He gets that from my mom. She's claiming the blue eyes because Tim and I both have brown eyes. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Can you say hi? All right. I'm going to do a full body shot for you guys. So you can see and see if there's anything else on my list. I kind of wanted to make this a short video just so that it wasn't, you know, trying to sit through exhaustive stuff. If you guys have any questions about the labor and birth experience or anything, um, feel free to send me a question in comments or anything like that. Can you say bye? And right, I'm gonna set him down here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, and here is, I'm not sure if I'm even in, Okay, so this is full body shot 155. Um, he was born on April 22nd, so he is at three months, three months and a couple of weeks. So um, anyway, all right. I wanted to uh, say hi and hope you guys are all doing well. And it is bedtime for the baby. Oh my! Oh my! Well, what's that about? Oh, that's a little fun. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. <laughs> Have a good night, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.